السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ فرینڈز ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی چینل ان دس سیشن وی ول ڈسکس ہاؤ وی کین ٹیسٹ دا گیٹ ڈرائیو سگنل آف آ آئی جی بی ٹی دیٹ از پی ڈبلیو ایم سگنل ان دس انڈکشن کوکر بیسیکلی اٹ از اے کوشچن فرام ون آف مائی ویور ان انڈکشن کوکر کین وی چیک دا گیٹ ڈرائیو سگنل ود آسیلوسکوپ ڈائریکٹلی لیٹ اسٹارٹ فسٹ آف آل the drive board in the induction cooker that is uh, too much congested and in hidden place we need two wires to take outside this signal we will make jumper and we must take care for connecting oscilloscope especially in this unisolated circuits if you check here at this point we receive ac voltage here and here these are the ac input terminals and these voltage are directly reaching to the bridge rectifier these two central points bridge rectifier that is the cut end so it is positive side the second end this end is ground side negative side so negative side is reaching here and it is going to this bulk capacitor here that is the here this capacitor this capacitor negative end is connected to emitter of the igbt if we place igbt in this way that marking is in our side its number is visible in front side so left pin that is gate so gate signal is coming from the microcontroller emitter of this igbt is connected to the capacitor which is connected to the negative terminal of this capacitor collector is connected to this resonant circuit resonant capacitor and the resonant coil we will check this signal between emitter and the gate so i will connect two jumpers to take this signal output signal low and signal high i will connect black wire to the emitter as a return signal for identification and the second wire i will connect directly to the gate these wires are now outside now i will place in its uh, fitting so and i will connect at least one or two screws so that it should not move I will place induction coil here. I will tie it one screw so that anything will not move here. And I will close it because to turn it on we must close it and we have to place some cooktop on the top side now this is ready to take the signal but now we have to understand the oscilloscope for oscilloscope we are going to test a unisolated signal we must take care for the safety of the oscilloscope we must use isolation transformer the best practice we must use isolation transformer for this uut for this assembly but if we don't have a big isolation transformer we want to test a signal we must use isolation transformer for oscilloscope so that at least at one side we must provide isolation the best practice that is to isolate this plug but for testing we need a heavy transformer if we don't have we can test normally this now i am applying voltage to the dso to the oscilloscope through this isolation transformer i am going to turn it on now it is turned on first of all i will test the oscilloscope using this test signal auto so our oscilloscope probe everything is working good now for testing 
while testing the signal never touch any metallic part of the oscilloscope because the live voltage may appear in the test connector in the BNC, BNC connector black wire to the ground side and the signal wire to the signal side and place this button to 10x attenuate the signal at 10x and specially take care if you have metallic table metallic surface isolate this signal properly I connected the probe at 10x I will press channel 1 and probe setting must be at 10x because because we are attenuating signal 10 time 10x attenuation now our oscilloscope is ready to test the signal now I will place this metallic part and I will put some water now I will apply power power is applied now I will power on press auto set it is reading 29.74 kilohertz 16.6 volt so this time I am setting the cooking profile at 2000 degree as a hot pot if I set to milk the duty cycle is changed and its turn on time turn off time will automatically set according to the cooking profile if I want to set as water it is 26 kilohertz we can test the drive signal for any IGBT either it is in inverter AC either it is in welding machine either anywhere so in this way we can test the test signal either the MOSFET signal MOSFET gate drive signal we can test in this way I hope so this video is informative if it is informative hit the like button if you have any question please let me know in the comment box thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh